Hey guys, what's going on? New Comic Book Wednesday today, and as you know, I don't usually do New Comic Book Wednesday videos, but today is an exception. Today I actually had a doctor's appointment 60 miles away. Just give you a quick story about why I'm driving 60 miles for a doctor's appointment. Now, I'm a busy guy, and I've been flaking on a few doctor's appointments here in my hometown, so I actually have been blackballed from the doctor. That's right. So no doctor will see me here in my location. So I have to drive 60 miles to actually see one. So, um, you know, it was actually, you know, bittersweet. First off, I had to wake up at 6.30 in the morning to catch a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock. Not cool. But the good thing is I was able to stop by a comic book store or thought I would um, to pick up some books here on New Comic Book Wednesday. Um, doctor's appointment, everything went well. Just a basic, basic physical, but... Uh, the midnight release of DC Universe Rebirth was actually midnight last night. So I'm like, sucks. I missed out. My local shop did not do that. And my shop in California was doing it. But here I am in Colorado. That's going on in California. So that sucks. Um, but figured, hey, I'm going to step up here and, and be able to pick up some books here early in the morning. Probably be the first person there. Top five comics in Grand Junction was closed at 11. They were supposed to open. So they probably did, you know, do a midnight release, which I missed out on. Uh, so my next option, of course, Hastings. Go to Hastings. See that they actually have a bunch of everything here. DC Universe, Rebirth, as it was. You know, I, didn't, I wasn't going to do that, but I picked it up. This is the midnight release, guys. Now, DC Universe has rebooted here, what? Twice in the last six months, and I think three times in the last five years. Ah, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it is what it is, guys. But this book was supposedly hot. They sold out in California, and you know, visiting other places now, they're they're being selling out of this book. So was able to pick it up. This is the midnight release variant. So I figured I'd pick up the regular very the regular cover as well. This is the regular cover. Now, without knowing, they had a bunch of this one, they had a bunch of that one, but they only had one copy, when I showed up, of this one. This is the black and white, and I figured it's a black and white variant, I've seen a lot of black and white variants in, at Hastings before. But when I got this home, I looked it up, and it's actually a 1 in 100 variant. So I paid $2.99 for a 1-100 variant, and this bad boy is going for $100, $120 on eBay right now. So I was like, what? Of course, I went to my local sh Hastings once I got back from the doctor, and of course, they were out of not only any black and whites, but any DC Universe Rebirth altogether, which was shocking, because it's another DC reboot, right? What's the big deal? But very happy to pick up this book. I'm actually trying to pick up Hulk 181 and trying to sell some stuff, so this will go, definitely go towards the cause trying to pick up my one of my holy grails here Hulk 181 with Marvel value stamp thank you very much that's that's the goal guys we'll see what happens I'll keep you guys posted but also on my trip there they actually had 30% off so I of course went to the dollar bin and bought these bad boys for 70 cents a piece Thundercats number three with uh, of course Panther right there in the front Thundercats number two Chitara Lion-O all good. And I picked up a few Thundercats. Number one, first appearance of Thundercats in a comic book. I already have this book, but you can never have too many number ones, especially with the studios coming up with movies for every little thing here. You get Avatar and X-Men together. You got freaking Thundercats. So why not, right? Why not us, Thundercats say? Put them in a movie. Also, I, didn't, I haven't seen this book before. Timberwolf number one. You know, it was early 90s, five-issue miniseries. Figured, why not? I like the cover. It's a number one. Why not? 70 cents? Can't go wrong, right? Another one I found in the 70 cent bin. The New Mutants, number 100. And continue digging here. My wife was able to pull out a book that she goes, is this any good? Yeah, it's pretty good. 70 cents. Can't beat it. The New Mutants, number 100. Not bad for 70 cents. Of course, picked up some bags and boards. But nobody cares about that. It's all about the books. It's all I got, guys. 
Uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching again. Uh, hopefully, I get some subscribers here pretty soon. I'm ready to do a contest for 100 subscribers, but uh, all in due time. You know, patience is a virtue, right? Thanks again, guys, for watching. For myself, Half Man, Half Amazing. Hope you had a great new comic book Wednesday. I'm out.